Today, I'm going to show you how to apply for a job by email in today's day and age. If you're using the previous way, the old ways of applying for a job, probably that is the reason why you are not getting any invitation for an interview. I have been blessed to help several people get jobs. Take a look at this email I got from one of my clients, Sami. Thanks so much for the extended gesture. Sorry, I meant to say which I got and settled on. The review of the CV has been done and thanks a lot. It landed me three interview opportunities that were almost successful and I opted to take the current one that got me out of the country. I am now a bit settled and wanted to accomplish my training tasks. Many thanks for the support. Regards, Sami M. You might be the next person sending me such an email. So without further ado, let's get started. For you to be able to apply for a job successfully, you need three things. Number one, you need the job description. Number two, you need a cover letter. And number three, a professional CV. And I will lay out how each one of them plays a very important part. You need a job description so that you can understand clearly what is it that the employers are looking out for. Now, one of the biggest mistakes I've seen people do is just sending out applications randomly just because they want to work with a certain organization. They just send it there. Let me give you some bad news. Those applications, those CV go straight into the bin because they are not in need of an employee. So they don't see why you are applying for a job and there's no vacancy. So the first step is having that job description. Wait for that job to be advertised. Read through the job description. Have a clear understanding of what is it that they are looking for. If looking for a job was an exam, then the marking scheme would be the job description because they're telling you this is what we want. Once you read through that job description and you find that it fits you or it is trying to describe you 100%, Go ahead and apply even if it is not 100 my advice would be even if it describes you 70 percent go ahead and apply so you use the job description to craft the cover letter and what is a cover letter this is a highly customized application letter for that specific position you cannot just pick any other application letter or cover letter that you had used previously for this job so you read the description, what is it that they are looking for, and you write in the cover letter that you're looking for someone who can do ABCD, I can do exactly that. Now, to help you, I have prepared the ultimate cover letter guide, 101 sample cover letters for any profession, and you can be able to pick some of these sample cover letters and edit it to fit your own job description, and it is out there for free. Just go to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash cover letter. You can get all those sample cover letters now once you have written your cover letter we go to the email how do you write that email the first thing make sure you have the right email address that you are sending the application to put it as to area of the email subject let me pause here for a minute and say this is a little bit different from job applications that you will need to go to the company's portal career portal and submit your application there different companies have different criterias or different portals designed differently so we might not have a one fits all kind of description on how to apply just follow the instructions there but this is specifically for those applications that are done on email so you get the right email from the job description send to put that email there then from is your email address so you don't need to put it there and the re of the cover letter that should be the subject of your email so the subject of the email should read very clearly applying for the job of business administration manager it should be clear such that when the other person on the other end receives that email they are clear what this email is all about let me just pause also here and say remember the hiring managers the hrs they do receive tons and tons of unsolicited applications and cvs and if you want to cut out through the noise because this is a job that has been advertised then you need to be very clear from the subject level applying for the position of a teacher very clear it's not just an application for a job and we are not sure which job is if they had a job reference when they were advertising include that job reference in the subject of the email then copy the rest of the cover letter 
and paste it as part of the body of the email so that when someone opens that email the first thing they are reading through is your cover letter dear sir dear hiring manager go to the second power i'm applying for this job blah 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 and remember a cover letter should be about three at most four paragraphs so it is very short very crisp if you can be able to put in and highlight some of your achievements in bullet points and how they are related to this job do that so that you break the monotony of having a very long cover letter with big blocks of text you know when you put the bullet points it breaks that and it makes it easy for the eyes to be able to read through the cover letter so the main purpose of the cover letter is to explain to the person reading that you are the right fit for this job and then you attach your professional cv please note i'm not just talking about any other cv i'm talking about a professional cv now your cv has more information about you it can be able to support what you have said in the cover letter that you are able to do that job you have those skills you have been in a similar position before and also bring any other added information about you other experiences other qualifications other skills that you have that actually support your application so the cv is a little bit longer document again not four five six seven pages yeah i have done another video on how long or how short should your cv be how many pages should it be i'll put it somewhere yeah yeah go watch it i've also put that video in the description of this video so that you can see how long your cv should be and with that is how you do a very simple job application by email before you hit send i have some tips here some small little tips that will make the biggest difference in your job application remember tons and tons of applications are coming in and we are looking for the smallest opportunity to be able to stand out so these are things that I have advised my clients and they have seen a tremendous change in terms of response from employer. Number one, consider having a professional signature in your email. Yes, a professional signature. And there are so many apps that are there out for free that will help you have a professional signature for your email. Personally, I use Ystamp. If I've sent you an email, you must have seen something like this. Yeah, which... I get an opportunity to put my photo i'm able to give you my qualification in a nutshell my contact details and any other thing i would want you to know about me and any other thing that you want the employer to know about you and maybe does not fit in the cover letter or the cv you have an opportunity to put it in your signature tip number two how do you name your document remember you are just attaching your cv Again, don't make a mistake of attaching all your documents. Look at this email the other day I got with, I don't know, 15, 17 attachments. In your application, you're only attaching one document and it is your CV, your professional CV. Then how you name it also plays a big part because if they will have to download it and later on, because you really stood out, they want to go back to their computer and find this document and open it. And probably it is just name one, two, three, four, seven, I, some random numbers or I don't know what you might have named the document just name it professionally where it will be very easy to identify it for me i'll just put it to be daniel mutuku cv and depending with the job that i'm applying for for example i might have several versions of my cv so i might have one that says daniel mutuku business development cv and daniel mutuku accounting tv so that when i'm applying for this accounting job i have a different document and when i'm applying for this professional development job there's a difference and so those simple things that you do that makes the work easier for the hiring manager to identify the document to see you from a professional light would make a very big difference i don't want to leave you hanging and to help you to get to the next level i am giving you an opportunity for you to send as you see for a free CV review. Head over to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash CV review. You get an opportunity to submit your CV for a free review. We will go through it and one of our team members will get in touch with you, getting to understand even further what kind of job is it that you're looking out for, what are your goals and how we can help you achieve those career goals we will give you suggestions on what needs to be done on your cv to make it professional and if you want to give us a chance to write a professional cv for you we will still provide that opportunity for you again head over to careerpoint.co.ke forward slash cv review and
And if you have already submitted your CV for review or you would want just to know how do you write a professional CV, I highly suggest you watch this video on how to write a professional CV. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel. And until my next video, I'm out. <laughs>